What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here back with week number four in year number three of our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise, and we are off to a 3-0 and start. Perfect. I cannot believe how much the tides have changed from the last two seasons. We're really kind of in a rhythm right now. It does not get any easier, though. We are playing the Chiefs, a team in our division, the one that we are fighting for last year to get into the playoffs. Both teams ended up making it. But it's definitely not going to be an easy task. Um, few things while I do the game prep over here. You know, I, I, I wish I could make people happy, man. But, you know, half of y'all would love to see Derek Carr start. And the other half wants to see Small start. Um, I'm trying to find a balance in between. I really am. But I, I can't make everybody happy. I really wish I could. I wish there was some magic switch I could do to make that all possible. Unfortunately... I, I can't so I think I'm just gonna kind of continue to do what I'm doing going with the hot hand You know Derek Carr started off terrible in that last game, and I had no problem making the switch over uh, And small came in and ended up playing a lot better um, Not a lot better. We struggled on offense a little bit last game, but overall You know uh, Derek Carr's probably had the better season so far, so I'm still gonna stick with him You know he has seven touchdowns. I think only two interceptions uh, doing pretty good. It's just, you know, we'll find our healthy balance. I, I can't make everybody happy. I, again, if that was an option, I would totally do that. But everybody has a different opinion on things. And unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, but that's also the beauty of life. So <laughs> moving forward, uh, getting our player development skills on here. And we'll spend this last one on quarterback. Go with small here. All right, there we go. So moving forward here, let's go ahead and check out the rookie news. I don't think we've done that so far this year. I'm kind of curious to see what all is out there. So draft stories with three over 300 yards rushing, Martez Kane sets a Florida record and carries him to a big victory. His style of running is starting to get the attention of scouts around the league. So if he is a running back from Florida, that means he likely replaced Devrin Golden. Uh, and the fact that he's breaking Golden's record is pretty interesting. So uh, he might be a better running back than Golden. Uh, son of legendary Texas high school coach French, right outside linebacker Faisal French, has been around the game his entire life. Doesn't really say too much about him, but okay. Uh, Ontarius Baldwin is leaving the rugby pitch and is trying his hands at tight end for Ohio State. All right, that's an interesting storyline. Doesn't say too much about him. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be a good player or anything like that. However, we are doing okay. So our division is doing pretty good so far. The Broncos are also 3-0. We gave the Chargers their first loss. They moved to 2-1, and the Chiefs are 2-1. I do not believe we have any injuries going on here. Let's double-check this. Nope, we're good there. Um, in terms of trying to get Graves a little bit more involved, maybe Dobbs, maybe Murray. Um... Somebody said to go with 80-75 uh, over here. Wait, nope, that's the wrong thing. So, yeah, we'll try 80-75. I was told that's a good way to get them really both involved. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this is going to work. I'm not too concerned about the wide receivers. They sub out pretty well. Um, but 80-75, we're going to give that a shot. I am hoping that we can kind of get a little bit more of a split carry system going with that. Awards, let's check out the weekly awards here. And uh, Adrian Peterson, 170 yards, 9.4 yards a carry, four touchdowns. Wow. And then you have Foster, 18 tackles, one fumble forced. Uh, Suggs on defense. I think he got it last week too, didn't he? I thought he got it last week. I don't know why. Was it week one? Yeah, week one he had it. Okay. Uh, 14 tackles, two sacks. And then you have Williams, 159 yards and three touchdowns on 12 catches for him. Wow, monster game there. Let's go ahead. What else? There was something else I was going to do this week. I'm struggling to remember. Let's see if there's any transactions. Anything going on here. Uh, Charlie Landrum. He got released from the other team, and now he is signed again. That's pretty cool to see. Oh, wait. Was Darren Sproles traded? Uh, yeah. Eagles trade Darren Sproles to the Lions. Okay. Uh, for a third round draft pick. All right, interesting trade there. We're going to have to kind of see. I can see uh, Sproles working on the lines. That's pretty interesting right there. All right, um, let's go ahead and check out some of the stats from our division here. And I believe our next three games are all at home. 
Uh, though we're doing pretty good on the road right now. Season stats. Let's go ahead and check this out. See what we got going on. Uh, so again, I'm still going to stick with Derek Carr. Know a lot of people want to see small, but right now Derek Carr hasn't done anything to lose the job. You know, I, I went away from him pretty early in that last game. He, he really was kind of making some weird throws. Small came in, threw a touchdown pass, got the victory for us. Um, but yeah, rushing. Devin Golden, 5.6 yards. I carry two touchdowns. Uh, both of those come in the last game. We haven't really been running the ball into the end zone all that much, but that's because we've been passing it in pretty frequently. Uh, Derek Carr is actually second on the team, uh, 16 yards. Uh, there was that weird glitch. I was about to say, I haven't ran it that much. I think I ran it twice with him, and the other two were glitches, if I am not mistaken. Uh, Emmanuel Graves, only 3.2 yards a carry so far. So he's also fumbled the ball. He's been really good in the receiving game, though. Really good there. Uh, Kaysen Dobbs, I want to get him some more carries. I'd also like to get Murray some carries at some point. And if this split system works, if we get a blowout and I take Golden in, it's going to give me more opportunities to sub the others in. Um, not a whole lot of catches from everybody here. Denarius Moore and Keaston Mack both with 16. 290 yards for Keaston Mack on the season. 96.7 yards a game uh, with four touchdowns. If we look at our touchdowns here, uh, and Graves, again, he's been great out of uh, the backfield receiving the ball. Three catches for 65 yards. He had that touchdown. He's also gotten down the field on a few big plays. Uh, Golden with a catch. Denarius Moore, one touchdown. Golden with a touchdown, I meant. And uh, Shakir Gaten with two. I'd like to get him a little bit more involved as well. Uh, kind of a quiet season from Cosby so far. I actually think he has a few drops as well, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you can't see that here. I think he has a few drops. I know he has at least one. Um, I liked him a whole lot last year. I definitely want to get him more involved, but we need to give Keaston Max some time. Uh, Ray's third on the team in tackles. Lejean Knight really kind of coming into his own. He had a big interception that last game. Almost took it uh, for a pick six. Fell a little bit shy. Mosley has had a great season for us so far. I'd like to see some of his hard hitting, though. He has a huge hit power. But we really haven't seen too much of it yet. Uh, Khalil Mack with six sacks on the year for us. Brandon Spikes getting four. He's really getting involved there. Uh, Shelby Harris and Justin Smith each with three. Then we have quite a few people here with one, including Okafor. Uh, and he actually has eight tackles, so he's doing pretty good in his bench roll. We had, saw Humphrey get one last game, the rookie. Um, I'm pretty excited about him as well. Uh, interceptions. Have five on the season. Two from Mosley, one from Knight, one from Hayden, and one from Amukamara. Uh, haven't been forcing a whole lot of fumbles. Brandon Spikes forced two. Smith and Ray each forced one. I guess we haven't recovered him. Yeah, we haven't recovered one yet. We'll get there, though. Kicking five of five for Oscar Samuels out of Arizona State. Marquette King doing pretty good, as always. Uh, kick returns. You know, I feel like Cross is a whole lot better. The kicks have been really weird so far, but I definitely think he's going to uh, increase this average number over here. I really do. Um, and then only two punt returns there. Uh, there was something else I was going to do. I might have to wait till that next episode because I am forgetting at the moment. I apologize, uh, but we'll get there. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time as we take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Later.